the Houston Academy Raiders needed two wins today against Central Alabama foe Gordo to win the Class 3A state championship. And they did just that. For the first time since 2014, they won for in the final game for head coach Tony Kirkland. In game two of the series, H.A. needing a win. The scoring didn't pick up until the sixth after a duel of getting out of jams between Gordo's Aaron Baines and H.A.'s J.T. Pitchford. Both Gordo and H.A. didn't start racking up runs until the sixth. Crazy. I, like we were talking about, I never would have thought we'd have been here ever. But we just we never gave up, and that was a huge quality for us as seniors to try to lead these guys into never giving up and you know, being the best examples we could. So it, it feels good. It's, it's one of the best feelings I've ever had. Then in extra innings, the floodgates open. Gordo scoring two runs to take the lead, leaving H.A. to score three in the eighth, which they did and pulled off the walk-off by way of a bases-loaded walk to give the Raiders the victory over the Green Waves to force game three. So on to game three. It was all about pitcher Griffin McGee, who was subbed in after one inning of work by Wyatt Shelley. Gordo taking the early lead, but the Raiders weren't going down without a fight. H.A. putting up runs in the second, third, fifth, and sixth. Then the final out, and the Raiders could not be held off the field. We, we had some battles in the five rounds, and, you know, it's just a tough thing to get here. And the, to be able to win it, and, you know, you lose your first game, then come back and win both, that, that's, that's a great feeling. The series MVP was senior Griffin McGee, who pitched six innings of work, only giving up one run and striking out four, while also adding two hits and drawing two walks to help his case. And then uh, I think we went up one run in the fifth or sixth, and it just felt like it was there almost. And... Uh, still unbelievable. Like, I just don't really have any words for it. The hats changed, and Houston Academy realized they are state champions for 2023, taking the blue map and celebrating with their classmates. Houston Academy now gets to go back home with all their fans who made the four plus hour journey and celebrate a new blue map in the trophy case. Tomorrow, Houston Academy softball and 4A will start their journey for a blue map, as well as the Enterprise Wildcats in 7A. That's all for sports from Rudy Abbott Field here in Jacksonville, Alabama. I'm Aaron Dixon. We'll send it back to you.